In this session, we will be looking at arithmetic expressions. An arithmetic expression, as you know, it is a set of variables, operators and operands. For example, we can have an arithmetic operator, an arithmetic expression such as a plus b into 8. We will be looking at only a few set, few of these operators that is exponentiation, denoted by caret symbol, multiplication, division and the mod that is the remainder and addition and subtraction. Now here if we have to evaluate the expression say um, should I do? Yeah. 5 plus 4 into 8 We can evaluate this as equal to 5 plus 4 that is 9 into 8 equal to 72 or we can also evaluate this as 5 plus 4 into 8 that is 32 equal to 37. We all know that we have a standard way that is we follow the board mass rule and this is the correct one. How do we represent this into our programming languages? We In order to show this into our programming language, we normally use the precedence rule and the associativity rules. Okay. Precedence rule tells us that exponentiation has the highest precedence. Next lower is multiplication, division and mod and then you have addition and subtraction at the least. When more than one operator of the same precedence is available in an expression, then we execute them left to right. That is what we call as associative tables. Okay, But exponentiation will be executed from right to left. Okay, Just remember this. Now, we have different forms of writing this expression. We normally write an expression, say, an expression such as A plus B this is what we call as the infix notation we have other forms of representing this expression also. For example, we can write the same a plus b as plus a b. This is what is called as the prefix notation, pre indicating that 
the operator comes before the operands. Okay. It is also called as the Polish notation named after the Polish mathematician because of whom this is being used. Okay. In fact, it was Jan Lucasius in the year 1920 who introduced this prefix notation. We also have another mechanism AB plus to represent this expression. This is called as the postfix expression. Post is indicating that the operator occurs after the operands. This is known as the reverse Polish notation. Now, why do we use all these notations? As we will see later, when we use a postfix expression, the operands maintain the same order as in the equivalent infix expression. Secondly, the parentheses are not needed to designate the expression unambiguously. Thirdly, while evaluating the postfix expression, the priority of the operators is no longer relevant. Now, whenever we go to or a computer program goes to execute, uh, that is evaluate an expression, it is done in two stages. Okay, so in the first stage, the infix expression is converted to a postfix expression, and th that is the infix expression is converted into an equivalent postfix expression, and then in the second stage, the postfix e expression is evaluated. So, in most computer languages, we will be following this. That is, evaluation of uh, arithmetic expression is done in two stages. That is, in the first stage, the infix expression is converted into postfix expression. And in the second stage, the postfix expression is evaluated. So, we need to know how to convert from postfix to prefix or, yeah. Sorry, from infix to postfix. We will see how we will convert first from infix to prefix. Okay, say we have to convert this A plus B into C. Into this is as you can see, it is an infix expression. Say we want to convert this into a prefix notation. Then what we do is we will surround each of the operators. with brackets okay to for us to know we will use the square brackets okay so the first this plus operator is to be evaluated so i will put a square brackets around it next the multiplication is to be evaluated so i will put another square brackets around the multiplication Now, since I want infix, uh, sorry, prefix, prefix is before. The operator has to come before. So, the operator, I will shift to the left parenthesis, the left brackets. Okay. So, in this place, in the place of this square brackets, I will put plus. From the innermost, I move. Okay. So, next, I have this. This will be shifted to this. So, my equivalent prefix notation would be, instead of this left square brackets, I will have multiplication. Instead of this square brackets, I will have plus. And then 
I have A, I have B, and then I have C. So, star plus ABC is the equivalent prefix notation for A plus B into C. Let's see another example. We have to convert A plus B into C into a prefix notation. So, I write the expression A plus B into C. I put the square brackets. I know that first I have to evaluate B into C. So, I will put square brackets around B into C. One second, I lost control of the pen. Yeah. And then I have the addition operator. So, I will put uh, square brackets around it. Now, I will shift the operators from inside out. So, the first one is star. So, the star will go to the innermost left parenthesis, that is this one. The next operator that I have is plus. So, that will go to the in nearest left parenthesis, that is this. So, my equivalent infix operator expression is instead of this left parenthesis I will be putting the plus sign then I have A I have B no I have the left square brackets so there I will put this star then I have B and then I have C so you can see I get plus A star B C. The next one, say I have this. So I will write this expression A plus B divided by C minus D. So I put the square brackets. First I have to evaluate A plus B. Then I have to evaluate C minus D. And then I can divide the result of A plus B by the result of C minus D. So now when I Shift the operators, plus goes here, minus goes here, and division goes here. So, the equivalent prefix expression would be slash, then for this square brackets, then for this square brackets I get plus, then I have A, B, then I have this square brackets, so it is minus C, D. Okay, I hope this is clear. take another example this one a minus b into c plus d So, first I have to put the square brackets. And 
this one, then this, and then around the star. So now the minus sign goes to this, the multiplication sign goes to this, the addition sign goes to this. in control at that time. Yeah. So, it would be star minus E B then I have the square brackets so plus C D fine? Yes. I think this one you can try on your own. We will go to the next one. How to convert infix to postfix. There also we follow the same method. I have say A plus B into C. I will put the square brackets. I have to calculate A plus B first. So there I will surround the plus with the square brackets then I have multiplication yeah multiplication so I will put the square brackets around the multiplication sign now it is postfix so what I do is postfix is the operator should be after the operands so I will shift the operator operators to the right square brackets now. So plus will go here and multiplication will go here. So what do I get? I get this as E B plus C star. Okay. Yeah. Let me take another one. So I take this. Now, what is the expression I have? I have A plus B divided by C minus D. So I put the square brackets around plus, around minus, and then around the division. So this plus will be shifted to this square brackets, minus will be shifted to this square brackets and then the division will be shifted to this square. So my postfix expression would be A, then I get B, the close brackets, so I will put plus corresponding to this. Then I have C, D. For this closing brackets, I will put minus and for this closing brackets, I will put slash. I hope this is clear. Fine. Thank you.
and we are sending it in this way. So now I have A plus B divided by C plus D minus D into E. So I will put square brackets around these. Then I have to calculate the division first. So I will put a square brackets for that. And then only I can do the subtraction. So I put a square brackets for that. So now this plus goes here. This plus goes here. This division goes here. Multiplication goes here. Sorry, here. And then subtraction goes here. So, my equivalent expression would be A, B plus C, D plus and then for this square brackets I have division and then I have D, E. For this close brackets I have multiplication. And for the last close brackets, I have minus. So this is the equivalent one. So I hope you have understood how to convert from in fixed to 